so upset about Stuart going with my mother. You were so galled that you threw her that this is your wasted, pathetic life party, Adam. Mm. You were dying to break them up, and now you're clutching her to your bosom. Why? Love cannot be denied. <laughs> not only would you fight that, you would boil it down and spread it on toast. This is for my benefit, isn't it? Liza, friends support each other. Your mother is your mother. All I'm asking is that you let me be your friend. This goes beyond friendship. You want something more. What is it? Friendship is not always the sequel to obligation. Marlon Brando, <laughs> Godfather. I, I didn't expect our friendship to be met with this kind of skepticism. Granted, a certain amount of trust had to be regained. And yes, I've been campaigning for it. That's why I'm trying to accept Marion and Stuart's relationship. To regain my trust? Yes, when I said that my life would have meaning again if I could regain the trust that I had destroyed, I meant every word of that. Thank God my brother and my children haven't turned their backs on me, otherwise I'd have no one. Adam, not exactly Heidi's grandfather. <laughs> You have a mega empire, untold riches. You could buy your own country with your very own adoring fans. They wouldn't love me for me. Oh, the lovable, misunderstood mogul that you are. Contrary to popular belief, <laughs> I value love and happiness. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the reasons I'm accepting this relationship, because she makes him happy. Mm. He's happy. I, I, that means a lot to me, because I love my brother. And I love my children. And I care about you, Liza, and respect you. Now, would friendship be such a terrible thing? We could dish the latest dirt about Erica and uh, stick little pins in Palmer dolls. We could mm. be bridge buddies, golf partners. Hmm? We, all sorts of, we could have adjoining rockers and watch the, the leaves change every autumn. <laughs> I think you've gone a little too far. No, no, that's the kind of friendship that I'm talking about. Something that spans time and age. Unless, unless, of course, you want something more. <laughs> <laughs> In your dreams, Adam. Oh, my <laughs> You can't do this to me. Hey, you exchanged your sperm with Jake Martin. The minute you did that, you committed fraud. You used me. You tricked me into carrying your child. Liza, please, I love you. Liar and a monster. And I will never forgive you. I'm glad you can never lay eyes on my child. Don't bother, Liza. He's not worth it. I want David. I don't want you. I want David. Looks like I have your true love and your child. No. No. Let's go. No. No. Brian, you've eaten so little. You know, there's uh, mince pie if you'd rather. Oh. I'm not very hungry, thank you, Eugenia. Well, good. Brian, thank you for coming today and staying for dinner. Well, I Jack, what do you know about that uh, development? Well, no, it's Jillian who is the stupid. Because you're so superior, so privileged. And what am I? Just a vulgar little peasant? Huh? Little cowboy you, you can jerk around, mess with my head, tell me you love me, and then turn around and betray me? Whoa. I never said anything about love. Don't give up on Jillian, please. I know, I know for a fact, really, she loves you, really. Don't get hurting you like You know like better than anybody, baby. Huh? You're just like Jillian. Look at you. Hmm? Little slut in a tight skirt and heels. I'll tell you something. I am tired of taking crap from women like you. I don't know who Jillian is, but I'm not going to take this crap from you anymore. I'm not really 
were designed to travel in a pack, Eugenia, more of a lone wolf. Fine. Right. Is everything all right? I don't know how it happened. I'm it's sorry. Okay. But it's okay. Everything's fine. Table. Just calm down. Sorry. Calm down. Chrissy, look at me. Sweetheart, you look pale. Do you feel okay? I, I could use some air, maybe. All right. Let's, let's go on the okay? Don't make a fuss. It's please, fine. just go on with dinner. I just need to get out of this room. Let's go out in the living room. Excuse me. I'm sorry. It's okay, sweetheart. She's acting very oddly. Do you know why? She's had a rough time, Lynn. Must be something in the air. Ryan, I'm not giving up on you. Hmm. Dimitri, could I use your study, make some overseas calls? Of course, Eugenia. It's at your disposal. I'll Thank be you. seeing you. Of course. Mm. Whew. What, uh, what can I say? Bad idea. I don't know. At least now I know for sure that my wife and I were never meant to be. Why well, aren't you happy to see me, David? Why didn't you call me? I left you several messages. I've been very busy, Jillian. I just got back into town. I have a very sick patient back in New York. So busy to even call me and tell me that? I needed you, David. I had a horrible day. Well, I'm sorry that I prioritized saving lives over discussions about your pathetic marriage. But that's the way it is, Jillian. Oh, well, excuse me. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry, okay? I was planning on calling you the second I ate something. I came here straight from the airport. I was very hungry. Oh, baby. There I was feasting on this huge meal and all you had was this cold pizza. I'm used to it. I'm a doctor. Well, my dinner wasn't exactly palatable. Ryan barged in, Dimitri set the whole thing up, and I made this terrible scene. That must have been awful for you. Yeah, it was. Even Grandmama took his side. David, you're the only one who understands what I'm going through. You're really all I have. That's very unfortunate. I probably shouldn't have blown my hat the way I did, but... You know, I just I got so angry. I, I, I opened my heart to Ryan, and, and he hurt me. And all I want to do now is I want to hurt him back. You should make Ryan regret that he was ever born. I mean, why make him feel bad when you can totally destroy him? I mean, after all, he was a fool for toying with you in the first place, wasn't he? Right. How do I do that? You obey the rules of battle. Come here. When someone strikes out at you, you strike back so hard that they can't ever hurt you again. How do I do that? By taking away the one thing that he desires most. How yeah, could that be? Your husband's precious male ego. And you. He was so foolish that he didn't even realize that you were his most valuable asset. He scorned my love. Oh, well then that should make your revenge all the more sweet. So you're saying that if... You make love to me right now, that that would be my revenge and oh. I would feel better? Yes. And do it, David. Make love to me right now. Let's use the power, Julia. Neither of us wants the ordinary garden variety friendship. There has to be something that goes beyond that, something. Well, don't you, don't you think so? Isn't that what you want, Liza? Oh, do 
dear, it's too light for Venus. So Stuart's taking me home. Oh, so soon. Oh, we can catch her from my apartment. Mm. I'm sure she'll come out because I can already feel her magic working. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, thanks you for a wonderful Thanksgiving. Uh, Liza, it's always good to see you. Yes, it was really splendid, Adam. You're both welcome. Liza, can we give you a ride home? No, I drove. And I think I'm going to stay a little while longer. Adam and I were having a philosophical conversation. Oh, really? Well, that sounds yummy. <laughs> Bye, you two. Bye. <laughs> All right, Liza. No more games. No more repartee. I'm going to tell you the truth. The real reason I wanted to spend this day with you. <laughs> and then you said I like living dangerously. What if somebody hadn't walked in? No one did. Anyway, I couldn't help myself, Jillian. You bring out the passion in me. Yeah, well, you certainly were just that. So then you do love me, David? I'm all yours, Jillian. So what do you want to do now? Go to your room or go have a drink or... What do you want to do? Well, actually, I still have a lot of work to do. Okay, I can wait. No, not here. I have a meeting with someone at the Valley Inn. I also have a patient I have to check on. Right now, as a matter of fact, so I'm going to have to dash. What about us? Go home. I'll call you. Go home? For what? Ryan. Revenge isn't that sweet after all. Look, sweetie, why don't I just get our coats, huh? Okay. I'm sorry, I ruined your Thanksgiving. Please, and... you two have made it special. Come on. Ryan, would you please grab our coats as well? I think we're going to take off. Yeah, sure. Thanks. <laughs> I was just thinking, maybe I should call Brooke. I mean, clearly there's something wrong with Christine. Maybe she's getting ready to talk about what happened. That's a good idea. Listen, why don't you use the uh, phone in the library? Right, right? Thanks. We'll be right back. Thank you. 